Oh, my parents reared me tenderly, a near a child but me. My mind been bent for rambling, with them could not agree. My mind been bent for rambling on to some foreign shore. So I left my aged parents and I never saw more. Though were a wealthy farmer, he loved and was down hard by. He had one only daughter, and on me she cast her eye. She was so tall and handsome, so beautiful and fair, that there were no in as country with her I could compare. I asked her if she wouldn't agree if I would cross the main, or if she would approve constant till I would return again. She said she would approve constant until death would prove unkind. So we killed shook hands and parted, and I left my love behind. The first time that I left Ireland for Scotland, I was bound to view that pleasant country and every fine town. Where trade and money were plenty, and to me the girls were kind. But the only object of my heart was the girl I left behind. One evening when I quit my work, I went down by George's Square. The mail coach had arrived, and the postboy met me there. He handed me a letter that gave me to understand that the girl I left behind me, she was went to another man. What well, I've thought be true, you tell to me, I will never believe the fair. For often time she told me that she would be sincere. On a Sunday before we parted, it was on a book she swore that she near would wed mankind but me, and she vowed a door and door. As I walked up through New Kirk Street, a strange face is far to see. When handsome Peggy Wonker, she fell in great love with me. My pockets, they were empty, and then I thought it a full time for to tarry a while and to think no more on the girl I left behind. One night I sang condolent and she says, don't grieve my boy, for I've got money plenty for to serve both you and I. 
your punkad shall a be loaded on hard labor you will go more I feel consent for to marry me and say I'll roam no more well, if I consent to marry you, I wouldn't be much to blame. My comrades and my old sweethearts, they would laugh at me, I was shame. I intend to see my old age parents before that they resign. And to take a last fond look of that false girl I left behind. Well, I thought this through, tell to me you are the worst of men. For since you came unto this place, I always stood your friend. You had my money at your command, and when fortune seemed to frown, I always did maintain your cause when all run you down. My heart began then to relent, for what she said was true. I then consented to marry her, oh, what else then could I do? Now pain is master, so my heart she is loving and she's kind. But the perjure and vows I will never forget of the girl I left behind.